we're going to modify a flow we made in a previous video where we list objects from the Amazon S3 web service. These are files that are stored in Amazon S3. We're going to show those files in a form and we're going to allow the user to select a file and have it deleted. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to my form. I'm going to add a new button right under the data grid that creates a new path out of my form called delete. And let's make it a little more clear. Let's call it delete selected file. And that's going to be the outcome name off of my form. Now I've already configured this data grid in a previous video, only now I have to change the grid mode. Instead of providing information only, I want to allow you to select a single entity from that grid. And we're going to call this selected file. That file is required on the delete selected file path but is optional on the OK path. With that change made to my form, the next thing I want to do is delete this OK path and now we want to delete a file from the Amazon S3 service. So if we delete the selected file, we'll go to this delete file step and finish. If we pick OK, we'll simply go to done without deleting any files. Now I need a bucket name and I need a file key. So I'm going to show the mapping editor here and you'll see that on the form, let's make this a little bigger here so you can see it. You notice I have the selected file object. So the bucket name is on the selected file object as is the key and that should be all I have to configure. So we're going to debug this flow here and you'll see to start we have a list of files that exist in our Amazon S3 bucket. In this case I'm going to select testflow.dat and to confirm here's Amazon S3 and you'll notice testflow.dat here at the bottom. I'm going to select that file and say delete selected file. It's going to attempt to delete it from S3 and call that process complete. And if I come back to S3 and refresh my file list, you'll notice that file is gone. 